What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick off where we left off, we have done lots and lots and lots of defending um, down here in Crimea in the last part and this army desperately needs replenishment. And one area I've not been giving enough love is Finland after I've captured it. So we need to do a bit of repairs, a bit of upgrading, and your infrastructure looks pretty good. Yeah, it is good. Move these guys on to boot the Swedes out of my shipyard. By my reckoning, that's they have no freshwater ports. Uh, yeah, I'll recruit a get union of militia down here to Mal Malmo to boot the Swedes out of this port. I'm not really interested in defeating their navy because it's inconsequential now. They have one small territory, and that's it. Let's get my spy out of here and get him into St. Petersburg. Because you're replenishing at the moment, as are, as is this army. But in, turn, in time, they will move on to hit St. Petersburg. You are going to go up and move up and capture Petrovskaya to create a firm, firm front line. Bit of replenishment, build a fort. Let's get the mines and upgrade you to a trade port. Because I don't have any trade ports in this area and I've got some good resources to get rid of. Well, export. And this garrison is going to chase down this Russian army. Drop them back. And then move them back. Oh, this is in India. Your superior general and Karelia. Yeah, captured Petrovskaya. Cool. And somewhere down here there is a, a Mughal Empire amphibious assault, but it's only got it's only driven by one army, so there's there's a limit to how useful it can be. Oh yeah, and eventually when we hit the Spanish, here's where all their elite troops are in the homeland. So it's tempting to build another army. And start to deploy some forts, one through the north, one making like a defense of the north and a defense of the south. That's not a bad idea. So let's move you up here. I don't know why it's not letting me build a fort, but. Oh, it's a river. Here's probably the better place because it's the start of the road. You get two marines and a general, and let's get some stuff to build up a garrison. So you'll want one of those is good because they just kind of fire at will, but you still need decent artillery to actually do what you want to do. Just create some big chunk of Swiss line. Good, and that'll be the next army, the next garrison to move and secure this road, <clears throat> this pass to the south. Then all this recruitment is still going on like mad. Yeah, why not? Army Staff College and Ordnance Board. So previously we unlocked machine rifling. Yeah, they've gone straight onto percussion cap, which gets me rifleman scouts and some, and some voltages, which is good. But soon we're going to get to a point where we don't need universities anymore, which is lovely. You'll find you've got lots of experience there. Yeah, you need to stay because right now there is no religious building here. So going with the, to receive to reduce the religious unrest I think I'm gonna hit end turn and see what happens not oh, my gentleman's on the run it'd be cool if we can get to the end of the uh, tech tree without causing a revolution in France because I was quite interested in playing this as as um, royalist because you can you can play ultimately if you want to play as Republican France it's the most fun way to do that, personally, is in Napoleon, because you've got supercharged Napoleon, you're against the whole world. Um, so I'll say I can't, so I'll say I don't see the advantages in playing it in Empire, but I just like the, the blue of Republican France. Okay, I don't like how that small Spanish stack has gone north. 
so I may re I may re uh, reorientate that stack to the south and move them into a new position. Holds me up suppose if they bypass the forts and go straight for Lisbon, then my garrison the forts will move out and then hit Madrid. So they're more than welcome to leave a stack behind their front lines because I will then just attack it from I will use it to attack their cities. Yeah, Russia, what are you gonna do now? You're having to you've got a massive front line to cover and not enough not enough troops to do it. Fortunately, I don't have a, I don't have, I don't share a, a common border with, border with them in Central Europe, unless they want to declare on Austria. I don't think they do. Yeah, there's some armies running around. Ooh, they might go hit Moscow. It'd be fascinating if they did. I'll bring my. Ooh, that would be an interesting fight, actually. Yeah, blockade away. <gasps> the Swedes are moving. No, the, the Louisianans are moving their amphibious forces. Another one, actually. That was the second one. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not... There you go. Industrial mining complex. Let's move you straight on to go lay siege to St. Petersburg. I'm just going to probably move you out now. So let's sail you down to here to have a look at core. Oh, look at that. So let's take you, embark, hit Riga. And you get into the naval hospital. So that'd be a lovely little assault crossing over the channel. And we have St. Petersburg and Estonia. Let's take this army. Oh, it's still replenishing, but push them out of their out of their port. I think they are gonna move on Moscow. They're more than welcome to. Eventually I'm gonna start have to start. Pushing out from Moscow. I'd like to do that from Crimea, but we'll take what we can get. A new town emerges in Cherokee territory. Here, have some industry, and here, have another upgrade your farm. Port located, Malmo. Port located, Aarhus, I guess. See, we're bringing the light of French industry into your world. Okay, yeah, let's upgrade the ports. They do have. Oh, I don't have top tier industry in all of them. Well, top tier industry, but not infrastructure in all of them. Um, Calcutta. Keep building. Nice new Jesuit college. And you've got good infrastructure. Engineer schools, lots more. Fun recruiting stuff. I'm not quite sure where you were going, so let's. There we go. Because see, I'm sure the Royal Sudwa come from here. So many elite French units. God, Swiss. Monsieur. Okay, let's drop you in this en army. Monsieur. Let's run you into them. Monsieur. So you need another unit of 24 pounders, which you're going to get. Okay, then four more units. Okay, you want to get another unit. Okay, let's turn off. 
to be honest, this is all line infantry. They're elite line infantry, but we're going to back it up with some good units. Okay, I'm going to get a regular unit of line infantry now. Good, then you'll be ready to rock and roll. You've still got a, a bit to go yet. Ooh, okay. So you can get some... Okay, let's get a unit of 32 pounders. Heavy horse. And another unit of 24 pounder. Because we're going to India. Let's get a unit of guard Swiss. Let's get you... Two units of grenadiers. And let's get you a bunch of fusiliers. We don't have any fusiliers at the minute. Good. So that's these three sorted out. Well, generally. You need artillery. And I can't recruit heavy artillery. Ooh, I can recruit 24 pounder artillery. Ten and four turns to get here. Two of those, there you go. And let's get a 12 pounder. Instead of 12 pounders. Good. God, you're all you're going on a long walk, aren't you? Because I think I want to put a four here. À gauche, marché. Because they can go up through the hills, but well, maybe a fort here might be better. Nah, I'm fine with it there. So if they bypass it, then I'll either just come in as support, or I'll just move to go threaten Madrid. Ooh. So is that you? Good, so he's going to convert in in the Indias much faster than planned. Lovely. So you're replenishing, let's build up in India, because that's not really impacted you, because you love us so much. You're going to go hit Nagpur. Maintain for now. You move up and go hit the university. Oh, you look like you look. That's a brilliant portrait. Are you probably going to go and hit advance on Malwa? Take a few turns. Good work. That's my assault on India is a smashing success so far. So let's take this navy and hit that port. Probably do a bit more. That's a naval hospital. So these are all their trade ports, which we've gummed up sufficiently. Cool. Ah, uh, yes, and we do have you. So I can't cross into, into here without them letting me, but I wonder if they'll actually fight me. To be honest, I might just input them into this port because we've got good roads. Mont Blanc is incredibly elite now. Diomede, Argonaut. So let's disembark you guys. Actually, take a few turns, but just march down. And let's bring you, start to bring you back to Bergen. The Americas. The Americas things are the way they are. We're just waiting. You could probably bring up some artillery and support and maybe some cool infantry if you can get it. Republican Guard. Then let's upgrade here because they need to be ready to move to hit Lower Louisiana. And I may even recruit one unit of Hessian line and start to put together an army to hit New Orleans. New Orleans. So 
if we go to war with Spain before we go to war with Genoa, this army will probably have to leave here and I'll build walls and build a, a new garrison to defend it from the Genoese, but they'll go along and hit Caracas and move up the coast. I think that's the general plan. Okie dokie, let's go back to here and then hit enter. Ah, that's my navy that was down there. Ah, oh, he died trying to get in. Maybe he died trying to cross the siege lines. Oops, these marines are on the move. Army! Army. Infantry recruited all the way from Berlin. Goes to show how much a useful transport network can be. When you can just hit, you just don't have to worry so much about where you maxing out recruitment from one individual city. Because once I've generated these five armies, then I'll start to worry about surrounding that Spanish enclave and then start to put forces on the Spanish border. Yeah, all these Russian fragments that are running around. They need chasing down, really. Chasing down and clearing out. It looks like they might go back to try and capture some of my regions, so I have to call off the siege of where I am now. Oh, don't. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if you if you want, if you enticed me to intercept, I would not do it. No. I will not intercept. I want to get some more replenishment going first. Comes a Russian gentleman trying to steal our technology. Ooh, we are with we are they are selling out against us. Well, I was about to actually call off the sea. Actually, no, they're quite far away from my cities. I think. Yeah. So, let's fight this. Be nice if we could. Well, I want to capture this and hit the take the territory to the west, and then I can start to mop up something around in the centre. Um, but that's only if the Russians let me play ball. You know what they say, in any war, the enemy has a vote. Not without hope, we suffer and mourn. Ain't that the truth? Good old battering of the Russians. Okay, so my guns are going to advance up. Even then, actually, this is pretty bad ground to fight over artillery. Whereas maybe, if I did that, Pull a bit of a pull a bit of a patriot. Sweet. Cover and cavalry defences on the flanks, please. Cover on the flank, police carrying artillery. Let's bring the howitzer back. Did have time to move up. God, that was a hell of an armed shot. Okay, let's triple speed it, because right now they're super far away. We destroyed another gun team. But it would be ideal if we could destroy some guns. I suppose mine are 12 pounders and they are more elite, so they should win this sort of long range duel. Still, eh, Trevor's like, eh, only one of their guns is. Nope, they're not firing at all. I was about to say, there's different types of win. It's killing the crew, it's killing the horses, they're making them rout, but it's also just making them stop shooting, because they are still forming up down here. It's one gun team gone. 
Well, one gun gone, sorry. <laughs> the Sikh Regiment of the Cossack Infantry is taking a bit of a hammering from near misses. Because these guys over here. Mm -hmm. You are not happy at all with the barrage of shots that have come your way. That's enough of you. So let's halt and then fire at will, so then they'll require, reacquire new targets. You sallied out to meet me! Like, I don't get... I know the AI is a bit dopey, but so they came out to try and hit me. Well, I guess they're just gonna keep being shot at by artillery. I guess. Pity about my howitzers; they've just not got enough range. Eastern European mercenaries—they look pretty good, like Cossacks. Funny thing is, if I manage to make one of their... Ooh, they have reacquired some guns. They've reacquired their artillery. I thought they were actually moving up more this way, but... Right. Shooting them, shooting them back. Because they're killing your pikemen, friends. More than happy to start blinking shots back in. Oh no, this is new infantry now that are here. So all the near misses will start to... Come on, wavering. One more volley while still wavering and they should... Ah. Damn, they're wide of the mark. Okay, what are you doing? Like I said, they sallied out to meet me. Like, okay, where's my curiosity at? See, they're routing, but they're still manning the guns. How peculiar is that? I mean... Like... This is, this is weird. Like, they sallied out to meet me. The eye's objective is to... kill me. So I don't get what's going on. What right over here where your cavalry is? Are you going to move your cavalry to do anything about it? If I just limber up all my guns, does that will that make you change your mind? Okay, right. We're going to do this. This is just silly. Speed it up. Oh, 
Oh, I need to actually dry. I need to actually steer these guys to not go over these barricades. Okay, so now you guys are limber. Are you within range of shrapnel shot? Well, you are against their front line, so just go for it. Infantry, I'm just gonna party the hell out of you again and again and again. Okay, so where's my howitzers? Because the real test will be where am I? <laughs> where are my howitzers and all this? I reckon they've got they must have like a unit that's like stalking unseen that's trying to get into position. Oh yeah. Like Come on, AI. Come on. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut away from this and I'm going to bring you guys back when something interesting happens. So, see you in just a minute. Okay, guys, I managed to provoke him into going for me. <laughs> Don't know what the hell took him, took all that time, because look how many casualties they took from just me pounding them with artillery. Look at all these bodies just from so while I was artillerying them I was running my cavalry around trying to get them doing stuff but by the looks of it I don't know if it'll even matter now The morale's already pretty shattered from the casualties they've lost to artillery. Go on, Crassiers, hit the Don Cossacks. So don't, you know, you're, you're, oh, you're a lot closer, but okay, here come the militia going to come back, so we might be about to have a bit of a melee scrap. But I back my troops. Especially once these guys are reloaded. Pour a volley right into your, into your militia faces. Hit him. So the shooting Swiss grins into the mix. Obviously losing my damn crusty ears. We're gonna chop through your silken nonsense. Yeah, obviously they they've lost so many damn men. I reckon it was those irregulars that screwed it up. It's the first time I've seen them, so it's probably them sneaking around super slow and hidden. You know what? Let's put a Swiss line, Swiss line into the militia. Ooh. 
hit that garrison unit of line infantry rapidly. Come on, Crosshairs, why did you stop? straight through their line. Get him! Get that militia! Then get him! Get this infantry! See, this is what happens. So they wait, yeah, they waited effectively. I guess they waited till those regulars got into position and then they advanced up. So it is kind of a fairly common AI bug that the AI does like to it does like to reorganise and reorganise and reorganise, and then when it's when it's set itself up to a way it likes, then it attacks. Trouble is, is that well, as you saw. You've lost your officer. You just got your drummer. Strap shrapnel shot and start pounding this square. Oh no, they've changed their mind, they're on the move. Too bad they lost so much morale, like just due to getting, getting pounded by the artillery. These guys stoically walk into the storm of musket fire. So where's your officer? I don't see them. My off sight does kind of count. I don't think I'm going to chase them down, mostly because this has been this has been really long. Let's just get rid of it. <laughs> Let's just that's enough of that of war. William Shakespeare. Yeesh. Yeah, it looks like they are. <gasps> opportunity to intercept. I'm absolutely going to take that opportunity, but not in this part because by looking at my timer, I think I've overran. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for when we. Entice the Russians into assaulting Moscow. Right here. Thanks, guys.